Okay, hi, this is Maya Andreasen, and we are here to finish up the spine. Um, so to finalize it, we need to make some connections in the node editor. So we're going to go to Windows Node Editor, and this is our node editor. And what we want to do uh, is, first off, um, to add things to the graph, that is this little box with the plus, so add selected nodes to graph. This one with the minus is removing, okay? Um, we also have a clear graph option, and that's a little box with the sparkles inside of it. <laughs> um, to add a new node, you press tab on your keyboard. So if you press the tab key, you can type things in. So we are going to type in plus minus, so plus minus to find the plus minus average node. And now we have one. So once created in the work area, um, what we want to do is we actually want to uh, duplicate the node. So I'm going to here and control D to duplicate it. So we, we have two of them. And then we're going to duplicate it one more time. And then we're going to name them. So uh, this first one is PMA, PMA standing for plus minus average. COG for center of gravity, underscore chest, zero one. The second one is going to be PMA underscore SPC01. And the third one is going to be PMA underscore COG, which stands for center of gravity, underscore hip01. So we have the following. We have one for our chest, our hip, and the C. Uh, the C, um, joint, <laughs> excuse me. All right, for um, PMA SPC01, we're going to select it and hit Control A to go into the attribute editor. And we want to change the operation from sum to average. Okay, so we're going to do that. Then we're going to select the hip, um, chest, and center of gravity controls and add them to the graph. So we're going to select the um, hip, chest, center of gravity, and we're going to add them to graph. Remember, that's this little box with the plus, and here they are. Yay! Um, and we're going to place the controls next to the corresponding plus average node. So we're just going to bring them over here. So here we go. Here we go. And these are just, these are the shape nodes. We don't really need the shape nodes. We just need the um, uh, these nodes. So let's see. Uh, I think we're going to uncheck extend to shapes. Because um, I don't really want to see the shape nodes. All right. So now we got to do some connecting. All right. So the output. So actually, since we're going to do connecting, we're going to put these over here. <laughs> All right. We're going to do the output of our center of gravity control. Um, the output rotate Y. So rotate Y. And we're going to input it into the chest. Input 1D0. So there it is. It's now connected. And it jumped. That is a little bit new. But don't be scared. All right, let's make this a little bigger. Come on. No? There we go. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect the output of CC Chest 01's Rotate Y. And we're going to connect it to the input of PMA COG Chest input. Oh, no. Okay, so um, what we need to do uh, to get access to the input 1D1 is you'll see these little three uh, lines here. So if I click this once, you'll see more options. If I click it twice, you'll see even more options than that. And so um, really, I only had to, to click it once to see the input 1D0 um, and input 1D1. If you do not hit these little lines, you will not see the second input 1D1. It won't show up when you try to connect 
and that'll be an issue. So we are going to select the CC Chesto 1, rotate Y to input 1D1. There we go. Yay. <laughs> All right. So now that we've done that, we are going to connect the output of, let's see, let's put the hip over here though, shall we? Yeah, I think so. We're going to connect the output of, of CC, COG1, uh, rotate Y, to the input of the hip over here. So we're going to put this into, let's open this up so we see all of these. Um, we're going to do the um, center of gravity, rotate Y, where did it go? It is, let's do other, here's rotate, rotate Y into input 1D, uh, we want <laughs> rotate Y into input 1D0, so it's kind of looking like that, so it's, it's connected to both the chest and to the hip, okay? Um, let's put this one up here, and we're going to be doing the same with the chest, um, with the hip. So the chest is up here. Here's the hip, because this is center of gravity control. So center of gravity needs to be connected to both the chest and the hip, if that makes sense to you. So the CC hip, we're going to do rotate Y, and we're going to connect it to input 1D of COG hip, plus minus average node. So we have some craziness that kind of looks like this. So actually, let's let's put this up here. This goes in the middle. Just put that like this. There we go. And now that's a little bit more clear. All right. Now we want to select the first and last uh, locators. So that would be this locator and this locator and we are going to add selected to graph. By the way, if you want the shape nodes to not be on the graph, what you could do is you can select them and you can say remove selected nodes from graph. So if you don't want the shape nodes, um, and if you accidentally add something, so actually we needed the group nodes, what we can do is we could just select all four of these and remove them. Now, you never want to delete them because if you delete them, you're actually deleting them in reality. So we're going to hit the up arrow and that's going to select our groups and we're going to re-add them to the graph. So here we have, we have the groups, okay? Um, we also have everything else. <laughs> so I'm going to select the shape node and uh, let's press shift. And we're just going to remove this from graph. We're not going to delete it. We're just going to remove it from the graph. Okay. All right. So we want to connect the output of the plus minus average node for the hip. So that's this guy. We want to connect the output 1D of the hip to the input of, let's put A down here. D goes up here because it's a chest. So output 1D is going to be into the group of the um, loc locator aims rotate X. So this is now connected, which is great. Oop, let's put this one over here. All right, and then we want to connect the output of the PMA COG chest. So where did that go? That's over here. PMA COG chest output 1D to the rotate X of the locator aim D. Okay. All right. So still in the node editor, we want to select the second locator from the top. So that's the locator C. And we're going to hit the up arrow to get to its group. And we're going to add it to the graph. So here it is. All right. And we're going to connect the output of the plus minus average node chest 1D, okay, 
into the input of this guy's input 1d0. So let's open this up a bit so we can see this. Oh no, wait, we're doing, this is the wrong way. This is um, PMA COG chest output 1D needs to go into PMA, so you almost forgot about that, CO1 input 1D. Let's open this. There we go, and let's open that. 1D, zero. Okay, so it can only connect when you hit the little lines and open this up. Now this used to be a little bit easier, but Maya made some updates and now it's a little less intuitive and a little more difficult, but we're still getting the job done. Okay, so now that we've select, um, connected PMA, PMA COG CHESTA1 output to the PMA SPC 01's input, let's connect the output of the plus minus average node for the hip so we're going to do the output 1D, okay, into the plus minus average node C input 1D1. So now they are both connected. All right, so let's move this up. All right, so you can guess maybe what's going to happen next. So we're going to do PMA um, SPC 01's output 1D to the input of rotate x. So let's open this up so we can see this. There we go. The input of rotate x of our group loc aim c. All right, so we're, we're going to be done soon. <laughs> so we're going to select the third locator. Okay, so that's the um, b, that's this one. And we're going to hit the up arrow and we're going to add it to our graph. So here it is. By the way, now's a good time to save to do file save scene as and we're going to save this as version 5. All right because <laughs> if everything were to shut down now and close it would be sad. All right so we're going to select the third locator from the top of the spine and we've added it um, and we are going to select our PMA SPC01 and we're going to duplicate it so we've duplicated it we're going to rename it. So this is going to be PMA underscore SPB, as in boy, 01. And remember, it is set to operation average. All right, so that's why we duplicated that one and not the chest and hip, which are set to sum. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to um, connect the, P the plus minus average node C to the plus minus average node B. So I'm going to click these little lines to open up my plus minus average node B's inputs and I'm going to connect the output D of my PMA C okay, to the input 1D0. Let's move this down a bit so we can see that of my PMA SPB01. All right, so now that we've done that we're going to connect the output of the PMA COG hip. So PMA COG hip, output 1D, we're going to put it into the input of our new PMA Bs, so 1D, into input 1D1. Okay. And lastly, we're going to connect the output of our B here, PMA SPB01, output 1D is... Um, going to go into the input of our groups rotate. So we need to open this up a bit so we can see rotate and we're going to connect it to rotate X. So 1D to rotate X. And there it is. So it, it kind of hopped around. Let's make this just a little bit bigger. Zoom in just a little bit. Okay. So there we go. All right. So next we want to um, change the rotation order of the controls. I'm going to minimize this. I'm not going to close it. I'm going to minimize it. So I'm going to select the um, hip, chest, and center of gravity controls. And I'm going to type in the following uh, MEL command. Actually, let me 
open this up and move it over here. And the mel command is going to be xform space dash r o o space z x y enter. Now initially you might think, oh well nothing happened, but let's take a look at this. So um, if we select just one of these, we'll see that our rotate order changed to z x y. So it changed to z x y, and we changed all three of our controls rotate order to ZXY. Um, we put in the code because you can't, like if you manually did it, you'd have to do it one at a time. You couldn't just select all three and then go to the rotate order and change it. It would only change the one that shows up here. So it would only do one at a time. So that's what that mel command did. All right, so um, let's <laughs> check if this worked. Okay, so all these connections. So we should have something that twists almost like a staircase and I think you guys can maybe see it here so see how when we twist the top uh, locators twisted the most and then the next locators twisted a little less and then the third and and so on and so forth if we go to your channels we can zero this out and let's try it on the bottom make sure that worked too oh it did so we've got everything rotating twisting properly which is fantastic all right let's save and let's uh, do some cleaning up. So we're going to select our center of drive. Uh, we're going to select the center of gravity control, the hip, and the chest. And we're going to lock and hide scale and visibility channels. So I'm just selecting and dragging and right mouse pressing and going lock and hide selected because we only need to translate um, and rotate. All right. And the outliner, we want to clean these up. So. Um, in the outliner, we're going to put the SPIK spina one, so the IK, into the IKs group. Do we have an IKs group? We might not have made an IKs group, but we're about to. Oh, no, we did. So with this selected, um, control select the IKs group and hit P to parent. So this is now in our IKs group, which is great. Um, now we had one more group that we didn't actually make, I forgot, so I'm going to do this extra group and we're going to call this um, extra underscore to hide 01 and we're going to parent it to our global move, so P to parent, extra to hide, it goes there. And we're going to put our spline curve in that, so this is going to go in there. So right there. Um, you can also drag things into there. So we can put our spine uh, joint chain, so this guy. Um, we want to put that into our joints group. So you can middle mouse drag till you see this dotted line and let go and that also um, parents. And then lastly, um, well not quite lastly, <laughs> we also have our, um, our driver chain and that's also going to go into joints. Okay. And then our center of gravity control is going to go into our control objects. We're going to hit P to parent so it goes in there. And uh, that is how we make the spine. One last thing, we want to attach our legs <laughs> to our bind um, spine joint, so the smallest one here. So we select both the hip joints, shift select the spine joint, um, the BN SPA01, and hit P to parent. And then we test it out. Check this out. Whoa, this is great. This is awesome too. Lastly, the extra to hide here, if we put H, then that makes this invisible. Okay, so it makes the curve invisible. You can also hit H again if you want it to be visible. But we don't really want to select it, so we're going to just hit H so that it is invisible. All right, that's it for that tutorial. Till next time, bye-bye.